Now he says, My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. And this is what I call separation. This is the kind of separation the Word of God's very clear on. Come ye out from among them and be separate. Well, that was concerning idolatry that Paul was talking about, but you can apply it right here. Solomon says, Get rid of that crooked crowd that you're with. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the nets spread in the sight of any bird, and they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. And when you get into that type of thing, it will eventually lead you to your own destruction. You'll be caught in your own net. Now, verse 19, So are the ways of every one that's greedy for gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. And this is condemnation at the beginning of covetousness. You and I live in a materialistic age. I have an article that's written by a Ph.D., a college professor, and he is taking a position that colleges must get away from the teaching of crass materialism, and therefore they must return to religion as he expresses it. May I say to you, there are a few that are beginning to wake up. Covetousness is the great sin of the hour. And that's what he's condemning here. Now he says, Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the street. Wisdom is urging you to go to school and really learn something. Come to her college. She crieth in the chief places of concourse, in the opening of the gates in the city. She uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And it is stupidity. How long will you be stupid? A young man told me, he's in his 20s now, of how he'd been on drugs for three years. And he kept repeating this, Oh, how stupid I was, Dr. McGee. Well, how long are you going to be stupid? Come to the school of wisdom. Fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I'll pour out my spirit unto you. I'll make known my words unto you. Now let me drop down here because our time is about up to verse 32. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. It is spiritual suicide. Turn from Christ. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. What an expression this is. I wonder if this could speak of our nation. We're an affluent society. We measure every man by his bank account, the home he lives in, the car he drives. Are we enjoying the prosperity of fools? Are we living in a fool's paradise?